one of the main drivers for developing mobile services at the University of Northampton was to enable us to create opportunities for mobile learning. We recognise the increasing importance of authentic, situated learning experiences for today's students, as well as the learning potential created by advances in mobile technology. The creation of the iNorthampton app has allowed us to offer mobile access to our virtual learning environment and helped us to move towards supporting learning whenever and wherever it happens. We asked a number of staff to help us pilot the app by designing it into learning and teaching activities. This video focuses on a pilot project in the School of the Arts. We set up online journals in Nile to allow the students to record the development of their ideas in the studio spaces or wherever they found their inspiration by using their mobile phones. Students uploaded photos of their work in progress and got feedback and guidance from their tutor. Let's see how they got on. I'm here with Jane Caulfield, who's a senior lecturer in the School of the Arts, and Jane works with the Foundation Art and Design students, and she's been running a mobile pilot for us. So, Jane, tell us a bit about the course first. Well, Foundation is um, a highly experimental course, a course for students after, post A-level. Um, and it is a course that's designed to um, enable students to discover their specialism prior to making an application for a degree course. So it sounds like there's quite a lot of diverse practices going yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where the, the app was perfect, because you have students, for example, in the morning casting something in resin in the 3D area, then back to the base room in foundation where they might be working alongside other students, creating, making, working in sketchbooks, then they might be back into um, print room using the print facilities or in photography. So having a mobile device meant that they could record and document every part of the journey, every idea development, which is part of the course. They need to be able to record everything. Some things happen for just uh, um, a moment in time, things that are cast in ice, things that are cast in jelly, that will only just be there for that second. So it's so important to be able to record it and then lovely to be able to just send it to me and wherever I am, I can um, view that and respond to it. Um, and quite often it's been when I've been at home, bathing the kids and cooking the dinner, which has been great. Okay, so we set up a private journal for each of the students yes. where they could send their work to you. Mm -hmm. How important was it to you to have that kind of regular contact online with the students? Absolutely essential, especially if, it, if this happened um, at the weekend or during the holidays. Students found it essential to be able to just touch base. Um, even if it was just a, a quick reply from me, yep, yeah, you're on the right lines, brilliant, keep going, wonderful stuff. And sometimes the comments that I made were just like that. It takes five seconds to do that, and it kind of makes the kind of um, link between tutor and student even better. Um, I had a student who was um, taking some photographs in the woods, and he was able to send the imagery to me. I was actually in, in university at that point, and I could respond to those images saying, <clears throat> you need to um, maybe think about this or maybe record that again, and uh, ideal. And that meant he didn't have to come back in. Then I could view the photos, then go back out on site. We could do this kind of remotely brilliant. When we set up the journal and you actually started using it, how did you find actually using the app on the, on the mobile device? Simple. Um, phone in my pocket, it's so easy to just take out, you just click straight onto the app, you're straight in, I can view all the journals, leave messages back for students, leave imagery for them as well. Mm -hmm. um, had a student who was um, looking at kind of behavioural, um, she was specifically looking at how people leave their dinner plates. Um, so one evening I um, just thought, brilliant, my plate was kind of quite, quite particularly left knife and fork together. My partner's was everything, everywhere. And I just took a photo, sent it back to her. So there was a lovely bouncing off of ideas. It's so quick, so simple, so easy to use. OK, so in, in terms of your workflow as a tutor, how has it helped you to have that kind of in, that access with the mobile device in your hand as you're walking around? Brilliant, because it means it, it can happen alongside what el whatever else I'm doing at the time. Um, I don't have to be sat at my desk. It's just brilliant in that sense. I can be juggling, and life is like that. You are juggling lots of things. Mm. Um, so I can view the imagery going about my normal daily life 
um, whether that's in university or at home. It doesn't take very long. It's been, it's been, it's been perfect, actually. Okay. We've really enjoyed it, and the students have really benefited from it. I think That's we all great. have, actually. It's been great. So you've had some positive feedback from the students as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really, really. They, I've been bombarded with imagery. They love it. They really love it. It's been That's great. excellent. Great. Thanks a lot. We're in the studio space in the Hayford building at the University of Northampton, and Jane's going to show us around and talk us through the Foundation Year course and their pilot for mobile app. Is that fine to do is we just go around and pick out people? Um, Billy is one of the most organised students I know. Everything is in its place. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Um, when we first started using the app, it was brilliant because you actually went out on location. You were taking some photos in the woods. You were able to sight post them back to me and I could respond to them instantly, which is so much better than you going out, doing a shoot, coming back, saying, Jane, what do you yeah. think? And then having to send you back out again, just perfect. Kind of when you're off site, brilliant, yeah. really good. Has the app been useful for you? Yeah, I think for that, for like the instant feedback kind of thing, mm. it was really good to sort of be able to keep track of your work and mm. know if you were on the right track, I kind of think. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Where else? It was Amy in her space, because that would be... The good thing about using the app for you is you could send me some imagery, and then when I was actually at home, I could actually kind of reply to you and say, oh, these are brilliant. I'll come back tomorrow and have a chat. And it did, it did actually work. It's really, it worked really well, really well. How did you find it? Was it all right to use? I mean, it's really easy. You just like, take a picture and then post it, and then you reply in a yeah. And then we can like, carry on working on what we're doing or change ideas. Or... Whoa! These are amazing. How did you find the app? <laughs> Look at this, she's actually using it now. Amazing, the amount of work that changes every day. Your wall space changes weekly, which is just wonderful. Um, and I think it's been really useful using the app. What do you think? Yeah, it has been, because then I can document things that I've done or I see to then see Jane, what she thinks and where I can take it. Okay. I think I even I got especially in the holidays when I'm a bit stuck and like I don't know what to do. Yeah, I just do. That. It has been really useful. I think I looked at your a set of imagery that you sent through to me. I think it was on Christmas Eve, yeah. and then they were beautiful, really beautiful because images. Otherwise, you're on your own for three weeks. Yeah. And if you're going in the wrong direction, then it's a bit. Right. So it's just a long time to spend yeah. doing something that isn't really worth. Yeah. And it's quite nice to just touch base, even even if you just get a couple of lines of kind of yeah, you're, yeah. you know these are looking great, you might want to think about this or think about this, but it's kind of really helped in that sense, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Do you need me? I do. What do you need me for? Um, I wanted to just have a, a quick look through these, because you, you won the prize for sending me the most things yeah, on it. the app. I know, I know. Perhaps you could just sort of talk us through a little bit about why, why it was useful and how it was useful. And it's just really useful with anyone's feedback or just general ideas. If you are stuck and need some ideas or anything to do, I'll just send you a little message. You send me some ideas back. Mm -hmm. I'll send you pieces of work I've already done. You could find ways for me to like carry it on forwards, move on, but still sort of stick to the whole photographic theme of it. What's yeah, maybe, maybe go out and buy my own iPod, just like I have the app on my iPod. Really? Yeah, so I'll give you one back, I've got my own one, and I can still use it. Brilliant. Very cool. <laughs> it was brilliant. brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> it's the way forward, isn't it? <laughs>